My scientific background is actually in physical chemistry. I was trained as a physical chemist at the University of Göttingen when I did my PhD in laser-induced polymerization. And that was all a lot, that was a lot about finding out about um, polymerization kinetics, kinetic rate coefficients in free radical polymerization. But I then transitioned uh, more into, I would say, preparative macromolecular chemistry. So fusing organic chemistry with macromolecular chemistry, however, staying true to my origins of, um, of kinetics and mechanisms. So to this date, I still have a small part of the group run um, kinetic experiments, uh, look into detailed reaction coefficients for certain processes. So that's always stayed with me. And I think it's, it's good if you have something um, that forms a base basically throughout your scientific career. On the other hand, however, we've, we've changed uh, the focus of the group um, quite considerably. Many people uh, will know our work about raft polymerization that we did in Australia together with uh, Tom Davis and Martina Stenzel and um, also in collaboration partly with, with Ezio Rizzardo and some, some stuff with, uh, with Graham Mode and the, the handbook of raft polymerization. But these days we just see that as a tool, as a very, very powerful and useful polymerization tool. And we've shifted a lot into the realm of light-induced chemistry, precision light-induced chemistry, lambda orthogonal chemistry, and the design of photoresist for the fabrication um, of nano and microstructured scaffolds, for example, uh, as metamaterials or as uh, cell guiding scaffolds, cell niches, uh, and so on. So there's been quite a transition uh, since the, the year 1999 uh, to now. My role in the editorial advisory board of the macro journals since many years has been to work very closely uh, with the editors here, especially uh, Kirsten Severing and uh, Stefan Spiegel, to constantly improve an already very, very good um, set of journals. Um, with Kirsten, that means working mainly for macromolecular rapid communications, trying to identify emerging topics, emerging investigators, uh, to put together new special issues of the journal, but also um, to point um, the editorial team in our role as advisory board members into the right directions of what's hot at the moment, where should they be looking, and uh, to really um, get the latest and hottest research into these journals. And I guess the same is true working with Stefan Spiegel with uh, macromolecular theory and simulations, um, which is a, a very specialized journal, but a high quality journal. And especially in this field, it's always a challenge to excite readers who are synthetically focused to look into something like theory as well. Because being a physical chemist by training, um, I do think that um, looking into the underpinning mechanisms and under, under, underpinning process of polymerizations will always be very, very useful for the, uh, the guiding synthetic efforts and producing new materials in the end. Mm -hmm.